Good afternoon folks, hope everyone's okay. Just going to do a, a quick update on the American Civil War um, epic scale project that I've been working on. It is taking quite a while to do, which I suspected, as I mentioned in my previous video, um, that it would take a while because it, is, it takes a lot longer than you think to paint these uh, small scale figures. But I am making reasonable pro pro progress now. I uh, apologise if I sound a bit croaky, I've got the, uh, the good old... Uh, common cold at the moment um, not cold related or anything like that just it is just a common cold uh, so this is the the progress I made at the moment I, I would say I'm about 80% through the Confederate side of the starter set I am at the moment looking at going with the fire and fury reels simply because I want to do medium large size battles and I already play a lot of black powder with my Spanish Succession and my Napoleonics, so I wanted to try something different with these. The units themselves, although at the moment I've got them laid up out as three bases per unit, within Fire and Fury they could be uh, a multitude of different size bases, a uh, different number of bases, sorry, per unit, because each unit represents a brigade. So you could have one unit might have six bases, uh, another unit might only have two bases. Each of these stands or bases that we've got at the moment, they'll represent two bases in Fire and Fury. Uh, for the odd or odd or even, well, for even numbers, that's fine. So if you look at that one there, that's actually six bases in Fire and Fury. Um, for the odd numbers, simply going to do that represents four bases. So if it was a five base unit, I've managed to find a use for these little commanders. That's now going to be a five base unit. Because the commander represents an extra base, and although he's not quite the width, obviously, of the uh, of the base, it's just to represent the uh, the difference in the numbers. Um, I don't particularly like these commanders, and I am going to get some proper commanders from Callista uh, and base those up as divisional and uh, core commanders. There's no brigade commanders in this in this rule set. The brigade commander is obviously with the brigade. Um, so that's the plan, anyway. Um, as I said, I made, uh, made some decent progress at the moment. This is what I've made at the moment. Uh, I've got these. These are the 12 units that you get in the starter set. So the 12 command bases are included in this lot here. But I've also painted up, so extra, because I'm using Fire and Fury, uh, I've painted up extra bases to make up the uh, extra bases that I need for larger units. Uh, so that's these ones in here. And you can see there's no command bases with those. I've also been looking at terrain um, because I'm using Fire and Fury. I thought it better to go for the 10, 10 mil, uh, 10 millimeter scale terrain rather than 15 millimeter, um, because in Fire and Fury, because they're larger battles and units to represent brigades, that the terrain doesn't need to be, you know, massive. Basically, you want to keep it reduced, particularly the, the buildings. The buildings. On their own in fire and fury don't count for anything don't count for extra cover or anything like that they are just there for show really um so i've got these uh i've had these buildings ages but I've never painted on them i think they're hovels hovels uh 10 mil 10 millimeter range they don't i don't think they do an american civil war range so i think i must have bought these for some uh, world war ii 10 mil or, or something and then just never used them so i've got two of those and i've got these fences here some snake fencing they're from a company called Blots. Um, so they're a little, obviously smaller than 15 mil fencing, but I think they're okay. They j basically just about reach waist height for the uh, for the uh, plastic uh, the plastic figures. So I'll just straighten that. So it's a bit straighter now. Uh, looking at it on a slope. Um, yeah, so they go. They come up to uh, to, to waist height, uh, which I think is is fine. I think the fifty, the 50 oh, You could use the fifteen mil ones as well. I think they'd be absolutely fine. I have seen people using. I think it's Cerise's fifteen mil fencing, um, and again, that works with these figures fine. But like I say, in the the fire and fuel wheels, the fences are, again are just for show. I believe. I, I don't think they're used for anything other than just for show. I think the only linear obstacles are sunken roads and um, walls that actually count for like cover and, and affect the rules in, in any way. Uh, fields, um, at the moment I'm still looking into what to use for fields. I've got obviously the uh, the old grass mat so used in many of my videos, many of my games. 
and just cut up to smaller chunks um, so I could use use them um, these haystacks here are again I believe they're from hovels they were 10 millimeter uh, scale um, and uh, that just leaves I've got hills and stuff like that so that's not a problem so it really just leaves the things like trees um, I did look at maybe getting the end scale trees that you see on eBay um, they, but they don't seem to have bases and because I think they're more designed they just stick them permanently into uh, into the ground sort of thing um, so but, but what I have got is uh, a bag of these um, so these are sorry. so there's 57 trees uh, woodland scenics these are the smaller ones um, and it says uh, two to three inches or five centimeters seven seven point six seven centimeters uh, seven point six two that's actually a caliber of a uh, caliber of the uh, rifle switch to fire um, right so yeah so I'm going to be using those um, they don't look too big I'll just, uh, just get one out I have got some trees, but they are. I use them for my 25 mil stuff, so I think they'll just be massive. Um, so let's see what size these are. So I'll put a little base on it, and then we can see. Yeah, I think they'll do the job. Um, I can't remember how much this bag was, but I don't think it was particularly expensive. Um, the only downside is obviously you have to, you know, you've got to buy the. Uh, sponge stuff or flock or whatever um, to make them and you're going to make them yourself uh, possibly, you know, with a glue gun uh, which I, I, a large, I did that with a larger tree so it's not a problem but yeah I think the I think the terrain will work um, if anyone else has got any ideas uh, about the uh, what terrain or what size to terrain or different options for fields and stuff like that that you can use uh, please let me know like I said I'm lo still looking into it uh, I've actually although I'm on 80% through the confederates I'm actually starting on the Federals now because I've got enough now, enough Confederates to do my first battle that I want to do. And being the first battle of the American Civil War, I decided to pick the first battle of the American Civil War. So we're going to be doing, I'll just get the Fine Fury uh, scenario book that I've got. Uh, so this one here, Battle of the First Bull Run or Manassas, depending on, uh, on what side you're on. Um, this is uh, the first scenario in the, I think it's the Eastern, I have a few Eastern, yeah, Eastern battles. Uh, and you can see there's the breakdown of the units, as I was mentioned before, that a brigade can be uh, different sizes. So the first brigade on here, Sherman's brigade, is actually 15 bases, uh, which equates to, can do maths, so, so what's that? Seven bases. Yep, seven bases. So for mine, it'll be six bases and one commander to represent a base uh, so this will be the first uh, the first battle this is a nice book this actually the, the maps are, uh, are very nice and it gives you all the details of what you know how many bases you need so like i said the first one i'll be using uh, <coughs> so i've got another i have not, i have uh, i think i've got 90 bases or the equivalent of 90 bases painted for the confederates of the world so i just need to start on the unions now which will be a nice change after doing the confederates uh, i can actually start on the unions um, a lot of people say that the confederates are harder to paint um, we shall see whether the union are any easier and uh, hopefully i'll get some uh, get them painted up a bit quicker and we can get on with a, a nice battle report uh, so that's it for now that's that's pretty much all i've been working on i did get down to the club for the first time in about eight to ten months uh, on uh, on Sunday um, so that was good uh, good to see the guys and get a couple of games in um, so hopefully restrictions obviously around for everyone else is starting to ease a little bit and we're in a much better place than we were um, you know, last year or end of last year so uh, yeah stay safe and uh, yeah thanks for watching